Alright, so I just figured I had to show you guys this. The first game I started today was the Hornets versus the Lakers, and at first I was like, ah, I have to face the Lakers. But as soon as the game started, he took about 45 seconds to check the controls. So I'm like, alright, is this guy new at the game? So a little bit into the first quarter, I go for a layup, get fouled, and I put up a free throw, and I'm pretty sure he got really scared because I got a perfect release. So what did he wind up doing? He wound up quitting, so... I don't know, I, th I thought that was pretty hilarious, but what's going on guys, Blinkfro here, and this video that you're going to see is my first, <clears throat> well I guess, my first whole ranked match with the New Orleans Hornets versus the Oklahoma City Thunder. The Hornets were the team you guys picked on my Facebook poll, so they are the ones I'm using. I will shortly put up the poll for next week's video, which is going to be a tier 1 team, so like the bottom 10 teams in the NBA. And I was so glad that I got to use the Hornets. I love the Hornets. They're my favorite team. I can't say enough about them. And um, for any of you guys wondering why the Hornets are my favorite team, it is probably the dumbest thing you've ever heard that you, will, uh, you ever will hear. So, when I was little, <laughs> I used to have a room with my brother. Uh, we used to, you know, live in the same room. You know, same bedroom. And someone, I don't know who, but someone got me and my brother, my brother and I, no, 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 me and my brother, uh, these two pennants, so, you know, the little triangle flag things. One was in Toronto, I'm assuming they were in Toronto at the time, Toronto Raptors, and the other one was a Charlotte Hornets pennant. And me being young, I was like really little, blue was my favorite color, so I liked the blue pennant better, which happened to be the Charlotte Hornets, and that's the reason they're my favorite team. And once I started watching basketball, uh, I, I started watching the Hornets, and I was like, wow, this team's really good. It was back in the day when they had like Baron Davis, David Wesley, like Jamal McGlure, Jamal Mashburn. PJ Brown, those were the days, and I was I was still with them when they traded away Baron Davis for Speedy Claxton and Dale Davis, and the next year they won, or actually it was that year they won. I think it was like 17 or 19 games. I think it was 19, and that's when they got Chris Paul, and the rest is history. So that's why the Hornets are my favorite team. Just a quick tidbit of information. And my opponent in this game, the Thunder, he was really into scoring with. Only Westbrook and only Durant. Oh, and James Harden when he came in. He liked to take threes with James Harden a lot. As you can see, he tried taking one there and messed up. And I get the sweet alley-oop layup, unfortunately, with Trevor Ariza. So, I didn't have too many highlights to show you guys this game. Oh, look at this. I was trying to, like, pop back. And every time I would do it, I would wind up going to the three-point line. But Carl Landry cleaned it up with a nice tip-back layup. So, this was, yeah, I don't have many highlights because this was my first real game of the day, as you saw my, the previous part of the, or the very beginning of this video. That was the first game, and he kind of quit, so I was not really into the game. Well, I was, like, into it, but I don't know, I couldn't play as well as I normally can. So, I was a lot of scrappy play on my part, and, uh... I wound up getting the W, and you'll see why. See, look, that's another thing. Another one of those three points with David West, which is really annoying. But I managed to get a three point with Jared Jack out of it. And what I'm going to do is show you guys the entire fourth quarter because I didn't have too many highlights throughout the first three. And hopefully you guys like the way I'm doing it now. I'm trying to show the entire play. Here at halftime, I'm up 30 to 20. And you'll see the team stats in a second. I did not foul him a single time this entire game. 0-0 zero, zero free throws. He took seven threes. I only took four. I was out shooting him. Player of the half, Chris Paul, surprisingly only one assist. Usually I get a double-double with him when I'm playing. And I'm getting a little bit better at this game, to be honest. I'm working the post a lot more. And uh, I'm beginning to run some plays, but I still haven't learned how to use them effectively. Which I'll learn by the time 2K12 comes out. So I'll be a lot better player when 2K12 comes out. And... 
I don't know. I could not stop Kevin stop Kevin Durant. It's really hard for me to defend the other person online. So I usually go up against the non-controlled player, which is kind of cheap, but it works for me. Half the time I'll be on... Actually, it's like 75% of the time I'm on uh, the opponent, like the actual player, and another 25% of the time I'm on a computer player. But... I was not trying to inbound steal on this, and this is the entire fourth quarter. I outscored him 9-0, to zero. so obviously I won the game, but I figured I'd show you guys the way I play, and unfortunately, in this video, I'm not going to have the player of the game, and I'm not going to have the end game stats, and you'll see why in a minute. And, oh yeah, early in the game, I didn't show it, but I got fouled from the three-point with Chris Paul, and don't you guys hate that one camera angle? where it's like sideways instead of behind the back and the timing's always screwed up. They need to fix that because it's been in there and I don't like it. Oh yeah, and this kid's idea of coming back in the fourth quarter was spamming threes with Russell Westbrook, which to be honest, that's how he played in the playoffs. He just kept took, taking shots over and over and over and over again and he was getting criticized heavily for it. And the other way he was trying to come back is three-pointers with James Harden because for some reason Kevin Durant wasn't in in the fourth quarter and I guess he wasn't smart enough to put in Kevin Durant. I don't see why if he was losing pretty bad, like why he wouldn't sub in his best player, especially the player he was scoring a lot with. But in this fourth quarter, I had a lot of misses. But it's all good. And... I forgot to mention that I was rocking the yellow Hornets jerseys because they are by far my favorite Hornets jerseys in the game. Those NOLA ones, the, the purple and green ones are pretty nice, but I like the yellow ones and they actually wore the yellow ones as a home jersey. So you know, it's not like I was using an away jersey for my home jersey because I hate doing that when you have two guys with colored jerseys. But it's kind of like the Lakers. And this is kind of like the Lakers yellow jersey, Nothing so it's all good because the their home jersey is yellow. I wish they wore their yellow or their white one more often. I don't know why. But um, here we go. This is getting towards the end of the game. As you can see, the only way he knows to come back is by spamming threes with James Harden, and I'm just taking advantage of it, going up on the fast break, trying to capitalize. I didn't there, but I believe this is the last play of the game. I could be wrong. I think, yeah, here we go. He did not really know what to do, except, like I said, take the breeze with James Harden. And he was ice cold. He clearly didn't have a chance of coming back. I go down the court, score with Jarrett Jack. I lied, that wasn't the last play of the game. This is. <laughs> he inbounds it. Here I come. Trying to steal it. Steal it here. And I think I get the bucket. and the, Or no, I get fouled and then he quits. So... That wraps up this video. As always, thank you for watching and be sure to vote for the poll for my next team to use.